Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I am delighted to join you at this very important webinar. The topics are wide-ranging. I will first share two points on what socialism with Chinese characteristics is and is not, then two points on Chinese-Cuban relations, and then my observations about Cuba. First, socialism with Chinese characteristics is the result of the Chinese people's painstaking trial and great sacrifices. It doesn't come easy to us. Since the 1840s, through successive aggression, such as the two Opium Wars, the Sino-French War, the First Sino-Japanese War, and the Eight Allied Powers Invasion, the Western powers bullied China into signing a series of unequal treaties, gradually reducing China from a world power to a semi-colonial and semi-feudal semi state. As a result, the Chinese people embarked on the arduous quest for survival and rejuvenation. China tried constitutional democracy, parliamentary system, multi-party system, presidential system, you name it, but all failed. In the process of the Chinese revolution, socialist construction and reform, the Communist Party of China, the CPC, and the Chinese people, after repeated comparisons and appraisals, chose Marxism and the Socialist Road. The CPC integrated the basic tenets of Marxism with China's specific realities and the needs of the times, and took advantage of the fine Chinese cultural traditions. We created, developed, and improved independently our own path of socialism with Chinese characteristics. Both history and reality tell us that only socialism can save China, and only socialism with Chinese characteristics can develop China, and is the only path to rejuvenate the Chinese nation. Second, socialism with Chinese characteristics not only adheres to the basic principles of scientific socialism, but has distinctive, distinctive Chinese features in light of the conditions of our times. It is true socialism, not other isms. The leadership of the Communist Party of China is the most essential feature and the greatest advantage of socialism with Chinese characteristics. Instead of a Western parliamentary system, we follow the system of the People's Congresses, which unites the party's leadership, the people's position as the masters of the country, and the law is the governors as an indiv indivisible whole. Instead of a Western multi-party or two-party system, we follow the system of multi-party cooperation and the political consultation and the leadership of the CPC. We follow the path of socialist democracy and implement the whole process people's democracy, which combines process democracy with outcome democracy, procedure democracy with substantive democracy, direct democracy with indirect democracy, people's democracy with the will of the state. Democracy exists in decision-making, management, and supervision, hence the full process. We keep the public ownership as the mainstay, while diverse ownerships develop together. Distribution according to work as the mainstay, while multiple distribution forms coexist alongside it, and promote the socialist market economy. We ensure the guiding role of Marxism in the ideological domain and promote and practice the core socialist values. Common prosperity is the, is the essential requirement of socialism. We follow the people-centered approach and aim to achieve common prosperity to all people. 
since the 18th National Congress of the Communist Party of China. The Central Committee of the party under the leadership of Xi Jinping has united and led the people of the whole country in winning the battle against poverty, completely eradicating absolute poverty and building a moderately prosperous society in an all-around way as scheduled. In the face of the sudden outbreak of COVID-19, the Chinese party and the government successfully controlled the pandemic and ensured the safety of people's lives and sound health by putting the people first and life first and leveraging the advantages of the party's centralized and unified leadership and the socialist, the socialist system's ability to focus on major tasks. Saving human lives is indeed protecting and promoting human rights. At the same time, socialism is a process of continuous improvement and development. Marxism is a guide to action, an evolving theory, not a dogma. The CPC enriched, developed, achieved breakthroughs in socialism with the Chinese characteristics in the process of adapting the basic tenets of scientific socialism to the Chinese context, historic and cultural traditions, and the needs of the times. Third, China and Cuba are fellows in building socialism bound together by common ideals and beliefs. 175 years ago, the first group of Chinese indentured labor came to Cuba and made Cuba their home. Ever since then, the Chinese in Cuba contributed heavily to Cuba's independence, revolution, and socialist construction. After, vi after the victory of the Cuban Revolution, the Chinese government took the lead in recognizing the Cuban Revolutionary Government in 1960 under the proposal of the historic revolutionary leader Fidel Castro. Cuba became the first Latin American and Caribbean country to establish diplomatic ties with the People's Republic of China. The solid friendship posted created by Mao Zedong, Phil Fidel Castro, following our, our revolutions, and cultivated jointly by ensuing leaders, remain strong and close with the passage of the time. China firmly supports Cuba in taking a socialist road that suits its national conditions and has thus provided assistance within its capacity. Last December, China and Cuba signed the Belt and Road Cooperation Plan, opening up new prospects for deepening cooperation. As pointed out by General Secretary and President Xi Jinping, China is willing to work together, work together with Cuba in building socialism, to be good partners in pursuing common development, to be good examples in the joint fight against COVID-19 and to be good comrades in strategic coordination. Fourth, China-Cuba friendship is not only based on common socialist beliefs, but also on our common faith in international fairness and justice and the opposition to power and hegemony. Cuba, uh, China upholds that all countries, big or small, strong or weak, rich or poor, have equal sovereign rights, including, including the right to choose their own social system and development path. The 60-year economic, commercial and financial blockade imposed by the United States has seriously hindered Cuba's efforts to develop its economy and improve people's livelihood and violated the Cuban people's right to exist and develop. China demands that the United States listen carefully 
to the voice of the international community and immediately lift all sanctions and blockade against Cuba. China and Cuba have cooperated closely on international and multilateral occasions to jointly safeguard the international, international, norm, international norms, international fairness and justice, and the common interests of developing countries. The humanity is one community sharing will, will and will. And in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic, Solidarity and cooperation are the right choice. Therefore, China lent a helping hand and provided emergency assistance to Cuba and others hit by the pandemic. President Xi Jinping said that Cuba is a great country. Despite the difficulties and the obstacles for over half a century, Cuba has stuck to its own path and won the respect of the people of the world. Since I arrived here, I understand that observation better. Cuba is a great country because the Cuban Communist Party and the people are determined and strong-willed to defend their sovereignty and independence. Cuba is a great country because it demonstrates that a small country can achieve big Cuba has attached great importance to science and technology and against all odds has made remarkable progress in biotechnology and pharmaceuticals. Cuba is the first and only country in Latin America, Latin America and the Caribbean that has successfully developed and put into emergency use three COVID-19 vaccines. Cuba is a great country because it has all along contributed to the cause of world socialism and international justice. General Secretary Xi Jinping, in his tribute, recognized the immortal historical contribution to the development of socialism in the world by Comrade Fidel Castro as the founder of the, of the Cuban Communist Party and the Cuban Socialist Cause, and the great leader of the Cuban people. Cuba's contribution to the development of socialism in the world and its support to the justice cause of all countries should long be remembered by the world. Thank you.